Today is 24th October 2018. This is a 16 year old female rear slider which cannot eat on her own. Now we check the mouth first. Now you can see the, the tongue is pink and normal and uh, the slider has not been eating for the past two months. She has been strange fat and earlier on she had ulcers on, in her tongue but now you can see that the tongue is normal. Okay. Okay, so this is the way we we okay we, we syringe fed the radius slider every day, critical care and pellets, and that's what the owner does. And uh, that's how she is surviving, although she has not been been eating on her own for the last two months. Now we will put her on the on the floor and see that she doesn't walk much or so even here eh? let's see. Okay, we will show from here. Eh? I observe her, she has not, doesn't even walk at all. We will turn her upside down. Now the normal radius slider will, will, will upright themselves. Huh? But this one, you can see she will remain in this position forever. As if she has no energy or no writing reflex, we call it. Huh? Not able to go upright herself. Okay, now let's look at the Koe Koeka. The complaint this time was that the, there is Koeka or the vent huh, coming out. Now and then the tissues from inside she point to the vent. Now the vent is the anus actually. Yeah? You point to it. Uh, this is here. According to, to the owner, bits and pieces of the vent comes out in the past few days. But but when the slider is here, we notice the vent is normal. There, there are no prolapse or, or bits and pieces coming out. Uh, you can see there. There's a vent there so. Maybe that's what the owners saw. Is it there? Did we, uh, there is the vent where the urine and the eggs come out from here. Okay, now we put the red ear slider onto the water and you will see that uh, she swims lopsided uh, on the right. You see? She's not swimming normally. You can see the right shell is, the right side is sunken. Huh? And this has been going on for the last three months. But today I noticed she can at least swim. But if you put her on the floor, she doesn't move at all. As for eating, she has no appetite, zero appetite. Huh? Not eating on her own. Now what was the weight when she first came in? In, in, uh, what? in July. Huh? That means, how many months ago? July to now is about three months ago. The complaint was that she was not eating. What was the complaint? Not eating, right? Yeah. Not eating. For one month. For one month. And uh, the, the vet one diagnosed constipation and did an x ray. Then, uh, what was the second consultation? What month was it after July? The next one is? Constipation on September 26th. Uh, September 20th we came in again. That means second second time uh, the, the, the complaint was constipation, right? Yeah. Then uh, so we give laxative and, and the, the advise the owner to feed syringe feed orally how many ml? The critical care plus pellets. Ten About ml ten ten to uh, ten ml two times a day. And as you can see, since she's not eating Oral feeding is necessary to, to let her survive, otherwise she'll be dead right now. But you can see she's still swimming lopsided. And okay, then today, October, right? She came she came in, the complaint was the Kueka, the back uh, straining and uh, the owner was worried that uh, there is something wrong. Now we put the put her on the floor there, upside down. And it will show you the Kuleka is okay. She's been here for observation for how many days? Turn upside down? Fifth day today. Okay, turn upside down and we point to the Kuleka. Okay, use the forceps to point at the Kuleka. Now as you can see, the Kuleka has not prolapsed out. Now she does pass her stools. Huh? So, 
you can see that there's a cloaca. There's no tissue coming out. And we observe it for the last few days now. The side of the skin is reddish, you can see that. Huh? What was the reason on uh, this side and the other side? So I suspect that she has been trying to walk. Uh, the neck also, show the neck. Show the neck. Uh. You see the neck also is reddish, which is not normal. Huh? There's an inflammation. Huh? The neck itself, but not the... Not the... Lower chin, lower chin is okay, the eyes are okay. Okay, the upright, turn up right now. We look at the mouth, see whether she opens her mouth now. Just uh, turn, point her, point her towards me. And we see the mouth on, on bright daylight. Uh. That, that is, uh, it's difficult for her to open her mouth. Uh. She doesn't like it. But just now, earlier on the video, we have shown her, see, see, oh, beautiful. Okay, the tongue is okay. You can see from this bright daylight, uh, sunlight, that there is no bleeding, no ulceration in the tongue. Ah, uh, see, see, see. Close up a bit. Uh, okay, put her down, put her down. Now you can see that. Put her down on the floor. You see that she doesn't walk at all. You see, this seems as if the, the radius feather is paralyzed. And you can see that there's a bit of sloping to the right. Do you see? Even from this view. Uh, Point, point your forcep on the right hand side. You see the right hand side seems to be lower. Uh, starting from the midline you can see from my side you can see it's a bit lower compared to the left hand side. Left hand side there, the left half, you can see it's, it's higher or uh, it's, it's, it's the normal level. Okay, so put the radius slider uh, upside down. It, you will see that she doesn't even, or uh, she was not able to turn and, and put herself upright. You see all the legs are not moving much eh? as if she's paralyzed. Okay so we'll bring her inside first then I'll look at the x-ray. I will explain the x-rays. Put inside first and uh, we will go to the my assistant will take over the, the camera. Put the, uh, take over the camera and I will explain the x-rays. Three, three x-rays will take in and uh, Okay, now this is the first x-ray taken in July 22018. Huh? The complaint was lethargy, anorexic. So the back one did the x-ray and found that the, the, the shell is a bit soft. So diagnosed constipation. Now you can see the right hand side. Right hand side, you can see this area is filled with some radio dense fluid. So that's, that, that, that explains why the slider is swimming lopsided to the right, sinking to the right. This, this side is a normal uh, x ray of the internal organs, which includes the lungs, the usual kidney, spleen, and the uterus. So this part is really badly inflamed for some reason. Okay, so this is your life, second, 2018. And uh, the slider wasn't eating at all. So she survives on being syringe fed by mouth. Okay, so this is July, and this is the x ray on, on the lateral the side view. Huh? You can see there's a lot of radio dense fluid on top here. And this is the constipation, the stool. This is the cloaca, cloaca. Okay, so the owner says she fed chicken meat and vegetables for the past six months to both, but the sibling is, is normal, but this one is, is not uh, lost appetite after that for two months and swim lopsided to the right. Okay, so there is something happening to this one. So there was July, eh? then now I'm looking at the mouth. The mouth you can see there are some ulcers on the tongue. There's not very clear features. And uh, we look at the time she, she came in. She was swimming lopsided as you can see that here. This was in August. Huh? She was hospitalized for, for a few days. This side is sinking. 
the right hand side, this side is normal. Okay, so now I'm going to the next x-ray, which is September, okay, September 27, came in because of complaint of uh, constipation. Uh, now you see that the, the radio dense fluid in the right side is shrinking and consolidating is less, huh? it's less. But it's quite spread out, you see, from here to here. And even towards the, right, the left hand side, it, I mean, it's spread to the left hand side. Now this is the range, the cloaca. Okay. So we just have a quick look here. And uh, you can see it's less fluid, but it's still still stuck here. Constipated for five days. You can see the still are stuck here. That means the nerves are paralyzed. So the stools cannot move up easily. We have a quick look here. Now I'm going to the next one. The next one will be, let's see. Uh, this, this is the old one, okay, this July, compared to July, the constipation also. So now I'm coming to the latest one, this is October 21st, uh, about four days ago, we took another x-ray. You can see there's some white granules here, but this part, the right side is the right side, is still full of white radio dense fluid, uh, and the, the radio slider is not eating at all. It's being syringe fed about 20 ml of critical care and pellets every day. So she's surviving and putting on weight. The, the only complaint was that uh, there was the cloaca coming out. Cloaca coming out, the tissue coming out. This is the cloaca, okay. Straining coming out. She passes through. Now you can see this part is a bit cloudy and they have stabilized. This is the tail, and so this is the latest cholera prolapse occasionally seen by the owner. So I come to this one, you see here, there. So in conclusion, this weight decider has to be fed orally by syringe to survive, huh? and uh, she should not be immersed in the water for too long, otherwise she will be unable to move away from the water and may swallow too much water. Now this, this inflammation may be due to the owner putting her in water for a long time. I have to ask the owner because normally the skin should not be pinkish. You see that here? This will be due to submission in water for many hours. Maybe the owner just put her on top of the water and uh, it's, the, the skin has no chance to dry out. Okay, we'll stop now, please.